Where's that Molly going? And why is she going there? I won't know a minute's peace of mind or conscience until I pet her face. Ian Chen, and welcome to The Baking Chen, the show that tries to show that baking is fun, easy, and I think rather appealing. So today we're going to make a refreshing raspberry cordial and a loverly maple sponge pudding. And if you're wondering what these two things have in common, they are both inspired by the book Anne of Green Gables. And if you're wondering what Anne of Green Gables is, it is a book and book series by Canadian author Lucy Maud Montgomery. And uh, it's all about the adventures of a young, red-haired, and freckled orphan girl who is accidentally adopted by an old bachelor and his spinster sister. And in the process, she changes all of Avonlea and Prince Edward Island for the better, using hard work and her imagination. And uh, I think this is just a, it's a very groovy book series. And it's one of those, I think, magical book series that you might pass up as a kid, because it seems kind of square, but I think this, uh, this book series is good for just about anyone of any age, and uh, so I thought I'd do some recipes based on it, based on Anne of Green Gables, and that's Anne with an E. So let's get started. <laughs> oh, Matthew Cuthbert, you are afraid of girls. Let's start with the cordial. Set one liter of water on high heat and stir in 500 grams of sugar until dissolved. While this gets to boiling, juice three lemons. To make sure you get the most juice from your lemons, and I always prefer more juice, microwave them for about 30 seconds. When the water boils, add 650 grams frozen raspberries, or about two packs frozen raspberries, and you can use uh, fresh raspberries as well, but I think frozen raspberries are sometimes a little more accessible and a little more economical. And also add in all the lemon juice. Take this off the heat and let this seep and infuse overnight in the refrigerator. And when you wake up impeccably refreshed, set the raspberries through a strainer and funnel into a sterile container. Make sure not to push any of the uh, raspberries through though, but you want to get all the loverly juice out. The cordial will be uh, cloudy if you push the pulp through, and no one wants a cloudy cordial. And of course, you can save the raspberry pulp and freeze it, and add it to your favorite breakfast smoothie, or you could even puree it and use it as a sauce for the pudding, if that's what you desire. Now it's pudding time. To start, set some water to a gentle boil. While the water boils, cream 150 grams of room temp butter with 50 grams brown sugar and 100 grams of white sugar and a pinch of salt. In another bowl, whisk slash shift 150 grams flour and one tablespoon of baking powder. Preferably for best results, use Rawlings Reliable Baking Powder. Now, mix in three eggs to the butter mix, one at a time. After this, mix in the flour gradually to make sure everything's well incorporated. Add a couple tablespoons of maple syrup in a buttered heat-proof pudding bowl. Pour in the batter to this and even out the top slightly. Cover with a buttered circle of greaseproof paper and for added protection. Cover this with a tight layer of foil. Make sure to buckle the foil in the middle to allow the steam to rise. And hold this all in place with a rubber band. Here's a good tip. Place a plate in the water to make sure the pudding doesn't burn on the bottom. And now, put the pudding bowl in the water. The water should come up to about two-thirds of the pudding container. Set, uh, 
cover and set to simmer slash boil gently for two hours and check halfway through to see if you have to add some more boiling water as some of the water might have evaporated. When done, take off the foil and paper. Put a plate on top and invert, making sure not to burn your hands too badly. And serve this with berries, cream, or ice cream, and a deceased mouse marzipan garnish for a little Anne touch. And here are our finished Anne-inspired goodies. Here is the uh, maple sponge pudding with its very cute garnish. And by the way, if you're having a dinner party and uh, your guests have not read the Anne series or are just opposed to deceased rodent garnishes, marzipan or otherwise, just uh, leave the garnish out. And if you're serving this in the winter, I'd say a nice warm custard sauce would be nice and traditional, but since this is the summer, I'm opting to serve mine with fresh blueberries, or bluet in Canadian French, or melti in French French. And also I think a nice fruit puree sauce would be good with this for summer. And here's the cordial, and uh, since this cordial is rather sweet, I treat it like a syrup, so this is a 50% cordial and 50% seltzer water. I think that makes a very refreshing summertime beverage. And you could even make this alcoholic, but if you do make it alcoholic, I would say uh, try not to get Diana Berry too, too smashed. Well, let's give all this a bit of a try. I think I'll start out with Diana Berry's favorite, the cordial. And uh, mm, that is... That is very, very good and very, very refreshing. It's uh, sweet and sour because of the because of the raspberries and the lemon, but it also has a very surprisingly fresh raspberry taste. And uh, this, is, this is just wonderful for the summertime, for this kind of year. And I think I could drink about three tumblers full, but I might get in trouble. And now let's give this uh, sponge a bit of a try. Sponge pudding, and uh, hmm. that was very, very good. It's uh, also it has a very slight maple flavor, a very subtle maple flavor. So I think it would go with a lot of different things. And uh, if you have it with the blueberries, I think that just lights it up for summer. Hmm. I think I'll have a little bit more. And uh, though I do think this would taste better with uh, some ice cream, because ice cream certainly is wonderful on a summer's afternoon in June. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this small culinary tribute to Anne of Green Gables and the Anne book series, and I encourage you to read the series if you haven't already, or at least the first book. And I think this is available in just about any local library or bookstore, or even online, as I think it is public domain at this moment. And uh, that's about it for today for the Baking Chin. My name is Lady Cordelia Fitzgerald, a.k.a. Ian Chin, a.k.a. The Baking Chin. And as always, I wish you happy baking. Ice cream is anything more delectable than ice cream. Why, even the most respectable eat ice cream. Where is Matthew going? And why is he going there?